Welcome to the 2014 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Like chicken mogul bass. This week, a record-sized field of college anglers are in Dayton, Tennessee on Lake Chickamauga at the Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. Competing against arguably what is the toughest field of 2014. This event promises to be an exciting one with a prestigious title on the line, as well as being a crucial tournament in the season-long Cabela's Collegiate Series and the School of the Year race. Over 280 collegiate anglers throughout the country are here in Dayton, Tennessee for the 2014 ACA Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. These college anglers represent 62 colleges to include nine of the top 10 teams in the current Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series School of the Year race. First tournament of the year, Collegiate Bass Fishing Open here at Lake Chickamauga, Dayton, Tennessee, one of the top 10 lakes in the country to fish. So the kids were all fired up to come here way before we even got to show up. 137 boats, all of our sponsors have all kind of contingency programs. They have rolled out the red carpet for us. This is one of the coolest things that I get to come out and do and interact with these kids and, and see what drives their passion, see how they approach the sport, give us new insight, and that's helping us be a better company. The call front coming through. It did uh, cool down those creeks, I would say two to three degrees, uh, which should hurt the shallow bite. I don't know, I might have to uh, step out to the six to 10 foot range and fish might even be deeper than that. I hope it didn't push the fish too deep. I hope we'll be moving back up to the flats. Um, without having a chance to practice, I can't really say what they're gonna be doing, but we hope to find out today. I personally still think they're staying shallow. I mean, I don't think the cold's gonna mess with them too much. Being from Ohio, you know, we, uh, we're used to the cold water fishing, so that one cold front usually doesn't push them too far. Okay, anglers, we are ready to take off here. Over the last few weeks, extreme cold water temperatures have presented anglers with a bigger challenge on this renowned Big Bass Lake. As for day one of the Collegiate Bass Fishing Open, many anglers are anxious to see if patterns change with the slightly rising temperatures expected. As for Brett Pruitt and Dustin Perkins from ULM, a frozen shut live well is not a great way to start your day right before the official blast off. Is that you at the dock? All right, boat number one, idle right on by. Live fast on, zipped up, buckled up, aerator's open, the live well is open, aerator's pumping water. Y'all would idle right on down. Boat number one, you're free to go. Kept having four hot water on trying to get them out. I didn't think they was ever going to open. And somehow we barely made it on time to leave right here. It was uh, hectic. Done cut my finger already. Now, let's take a look at the rules for this event. Each school club can send as many teams as they choose. A team may consist of up to four anglers and two boats. A maximum of two anglers will be allowed per boat. Each team boat may weigh up to three bass each day, with a maximum of six fish being scored for each four angler team each day. The two boats per team is awesome. Uh, I get to fish with one of my best friends. We can communicate and tell each other what's going on. We know how each other fish. That's the cool thing about this tournament, where we can talk to each other and tell each other how we're catching them and um, work together to really find out what's working. All right, we're going uh, we're, we're to keep hitting these banks and laydowns with this. and. Uh, see how that goes. I might call y'all back in a little bit to check up. If you're a smaller college, can't afford whatever to send many teams, you say you can only send one team. Uh, you can bring one boat, two men, you get to bring three fish and three fish, still adds up to six fish. That's what the team weights all are calibrated off of, is a six fish total weight. We're trying to win school of the year. Again, we won last year, and uh, unfortunately because of school, we couldn't send four teams. So in order for us to get points for two separate teams, we had to fish individually and let our other two teams fish as a group. We couldn't get another team to come. But it's all right with me. I think we can catch six fish. Just whatever I can do to help the school. I'll flip in a jig, see if they want something a little bit. So that way, 
Yeah. Oh, that's a good way to start off right there. I like fishing fast, it's normally better, but I just know it's this time of year in the spawn and I just know it's a way to catch bigger fish. We'll probably be fishing fast some later on. That's what college fishing definitely is, uh make me come a lot more diverse through the years. We had to fish lakes all over the United States and none of them is like what we fish in Louisiana, that's for sure. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series will be right back. For more collegiate bass fishing coverage and videos, go to collegiatebasschampionship.com. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series has been brought to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. Boat US, for the love of boating. And by Garmin, the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. I wear it. 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 Every time I'm on the water, I wear my life jacket, and so should you. Boat US urges you to wear a life jacket every time you're on the water. For more information, visit boatus.com. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Yamaha VMAX SHO. The game changer. The pros knew right out of the first hole shot that the VMAX SHO was the real deal. VMAX SHO exceeds two-stroke performance, delivers four-stroke efficiency, and is packed with legendary Yamaha reliability. It's the faster, stronger, smarter, lighter family of VMAX SHO outboards from Yamaha. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Costa, see what's out there. Welcome back to Lake Chickamauga in Dayton, Tennessee for day one of the 2014 ACA Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. Located in southeastern Tennessee in Ray County, Lake Chickamauga has consistently produced some of the biggest bass in the country. Many are calling this lake the bass capital of the South. This year, the Open has been moved up on the schedule to be the first event of the season. On this fertile fishery, several recent tournaments have been won with five fish limits exceeding over 30 pounds. With such promising water, Lake Chickamauga is serving as a crucial battleground for the Cabela's School of the Year race. The School of the Year program recognizes collegiate clubs that compete in the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series, Carhartt Collegiate Bass, FLW College Fishing, as well as several smaller school run events. This year is sure to be a slugfest. We want to win School of the Year, and there's so many events that go in to uh, School of the Year, and us uh, winning it last year, you know, we got a lot on our shoulders, but. Um, I think, you know, especially with this tournament, it being double points, you know, we, we have to do good in it. We're sitting right now first. Uh, we got there with a lot of hard work, 
this year we got a lot of new guys. These guys know how to fish. It, it, it's only going to take one mess up. One mess up is going to mess up our whole school of the year chance. I think we're sitting in second place right now. Mm -hmm. We haven't won school of the year yet. That's, that's one thing that we've been focusing on here lately. Um, so it would, it would mean a lot to our club. Our teammates are doing about the same thing we were doing this morning, chasing Chad around and running back a pocket. That's a good sign. They may be, they say if they just caught it or what? Ethan? What? They say if they just caught it? Uh, he said they caught it a little while ago. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, finally. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Put Take them head. Out. Lake Chickamauga Bass, shake your head. Tournament day number one. We finally sort of figured out the Chickamauga Bass. Woo! At least today. Yeah. Tomorrow may be totally different. Yeah, we're on these rocks right here, and the, looks like the bass have been feeding on some crawfish. We'll see if they'll hydro wave can't get them fired up. Um, we got the crawfish chip in it right now, so we're gonna set it to crawfish gravel finesse on a 30 second delay. See if they don't get them fired up. I think it can definitely make a difference in certain situations. It can't hurt, at least. Just been trying to cover as much water as possible and finally we just started flipping little lay downs and stuff on the bank, slowing it down and uh, that's when we caught our first keeper. So. Uh, one down, two more to go for our boat. The weather, <laughs> it's just so crazy. It's 70 degrees one day, the next day it's 25. So they don't know what to do. They don't know if they want to move up and spawn and, or stay in the creeks and, and wait it out till some warmer weather. Not every angler's gonna do that. And we might be able to get a big one doing that too behind some people. <laughs> It's a keeper. Thank you. Yeah, I never even flipped this bait the whole time during practice. I was trying to get stuff together last night. And I seen it and I was like, oh, I better tie that on. Have caught some big fish back home lately with Lake Fork too. The bass in this lake is just so big, like. Get the net, get the net. Oh. There we go, baby. Man. Right there. Oh. Another solid fish. We ain't caught no giants yet, but we're making our way. We'll be right back with more coverage of the 2014 ACA Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. If you're interested in becoming a part of collegiate fishing, then check out the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Visit our website to find the latest tournament results, watch previous TV shows, and to learn more about how to start a fishing club at your school. The distances aren't getting shorter. The trucks are going farther. The 2013 Ram 1500 with best-in-class fuel economy, engineered to move heaven and earth. Guts, glory, Ram. The new Ram 1500, Motor Trend's 2013 Truck of the Year. The world has never seen a hook like this. What I thought was good before is not so good now. The first surgically sharpened fish hook. This is the best ever. In test after test, we have proven that anyone can set this new hook with half the effort of any other hook. That's money. Introducing the Trocar Hook, a weapon for fishermen who aren't just out to catch fish, but are out to win.
I want simple, turn it on, use a few features, and Garmin's are, are by far the simplest to use. You know, with the Garmin Lakeview HD Ultra Maps now, you not only get every nook, cranny, creek, they are so detailed like it like none other. You know, when you break it down into those one foot intervals and stuff, that, that's a big difference. You pull up to a lake and the water levels are changed, you can go into the map setting, actually change it so it'll, it'll actually change the depths throughout the whole map. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to set one of these up to use. You can go out, turn on the power button, get on the water and go fishing. I mean, they're, they're light years ahead of anybody with it. Having down view and side view as a capability on your boat allows you to do so many things that you never dreamed possible. With the increased power these units have and the clarity, I can set this thing on 250 feet and just cruise right down the, right down the ledge. With the side view, you're seeing a stump as a stump. You can see what you want to see. You can see stumps, you can see fish, rock piles, whatever you want to see. You don't have to, to tinker with it to get it to read something that you're looking for. And that's always been from the day one when I got with Garmin years ago. The neat thing about it, I want to turn it on, I want it to work. I like simplicity, and when I saw how simple the garments were to use, I was sold. Simple as ABC. When they say power simple, that's exactly what the new Garmin units are. Welcome back to Lake Chickamauga in Dayton, Tennessee, the official host city of the 2014 ACA Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. The University of North Alabama is currently leading the Cabela's School of the Year race. We caught up with Andrew Tate and Hunter Haney. Now we still got a long way to go, but as of now, pretty awesome to be number one. We got a long way to go, though. We got some tough things behind us, too, that's for sure. We're paired with uh, two other guys from our university. They also weigh in. Uh, they're three, and we put them together for our total weight. And that's how we're ranked. Uh, it's a little different. It, it changes your outlook on the day. You're, instead of trying to get five bites, you're trying to get three big bites to compete with everybody else's. But right now, we're struggling just to get bit at all. What if I just horse a six over there? That's really shallow, isn't it? It's very shallow. Yeah. That's not good. That's not good. Stay on date, bro. I don't really flip mode uh, wood much, but when I do, it usually is pretty productive. And we had heard some big bites have been caught off of wood. It just it's just gonna take later on in the day. <laughs> biggin, biggin. God, your rod's caught up. Biggin. Woo! Man! Man, we need that! <laughs> Mama. Here. I love fat girls. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That's a spirit lifter. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Bam, six, seven. <laughs> Whoa, that's definitely not a five. You big girl. Here, where's your grandma? <laughs> it was pretty cool. I just flipped down until I lay down and uh, big mama hit it as soon as it hit the water. And uh, she ran behind a tree, I set the hook. I honestly was just trying to set the hook before she got behind this tree, but it was it was a pretty nasty hook set, I'm not gonna lie. You get all tangled up. Somehow I go for the line to start reeling it in with my hand. And uh, then it comes undone, so I use my reel again. And we finally get it in the net. My partner did a great net job, because uh, he laid his rod down right on top of mine. So uh, we kind of had some trouble. We scrambled, we got her in the boat. And we've been struggling all morning long, and we really needed that to pick me up. But, uh, two more of those and we'll be We'll be doing just fine. I'll be satisfied with two, two more fives. Currently third in this year's Cabela School of the Year standings are last year's winners from the University of Louisiana Monroe. We join them now on the water where they found a shallow water pattern that seems to be producing well for them. 
I think she's making it. You're not trolling me. I'll measure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Number four. Last year's winner of the Collegiate Bass Fishing Open was Bethel University, where the Wildcats anchored in a total of 52.78 pounds on Kentucky Lake. Today, on day one of the 2014 Open, Bethel University have seemed to figure out Lake Chickamauga as well. Yeah, we caught, like, we pulled up here and, like, first cast, we caught this one. And, uh, not first, it's probably third cast. We caught this one. And then, very next cast, caught another probably three. And then, caught a couple little ones this morning, early. And then, probably an hour and a half ago, two hours, we caught that other big one. And we've just been grinding. I've been catching some smaller fish as the day's gone on, gone on. But, you know, that's how it goes. Just gotta weed through them. For more college bass fishing coverage and videos, go to collegiatebasschampionship.com. We're also on Facebook to keep you updated on the collegiate fishing world. Many of our college anglers today are trusting their ranger boats to get them to and from their spots on tournament day. It's time now to put your ranger boat knowledge to the test. How many rods can ranger's legendary Z520C Comanche hold inside its locked compartments? Log on to MyDreamRig.com for the answer. For camping, fishing, hunting, or anything outdoors, bring along Arctic Ice. Simply freeze these versatile cooler packs and they're ready to keep your food and drinks cold throughout your outing. Arctic Ice can maintain in a cooler 60% longer than the equal weight of regular ice and with no more mess or soggy food. Arctic Ice is clean and easy. Alaskan series can maintain a sub 40 degree cooler for days and the Tundra series can keep game frozen till it gets home. Preserve an Arctic refuge in your cooler. Choose Arctic Ice. If you want to activate the bass, you better have a HydroWave. You've got six different bait fish sounds, you run it at any volume, you can see them actually come up to the speaker of the HydroWave. You can watch them come up off the bottom. When you're fishing deep, the hardest one to catch is always the first one. With the HydroWave, you get them going faster. HydroWave, I won't fish without it. Since 1996, Frog Togs Outerwear have kept outdoorsmen warm and dry, even in the worst of conditions. Now, Frog Togs have expanded beyond hunting and fishing markets and revolutionized the industry with their patented fabric system. Frog Togs are extremely lightweight and portable. They pack easily in your car, boat, RV, and even on your motorcycle. Best of all, Frog Togs are 100% waterproof and windproof, and yet extremely breathable. Check us out online at frogtogs.com. Frog Togs, stop the rain. I wear it. 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 Every time I'm on the water, I wear my life jacket, and so should you. Boat US urges you to wear a life jacket every time you're on the water. For more information, visit boatus.com. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series has been brought to you by Boat U.S. Angler and by Power Pole, Swift, Silent, Secure. Mustang, together we save lives. And by Dayton, Tennessee, the new bass fishing capital of the South. 
with over 50 miles of shoreline, Lake Chickamauga is located outside of Dayton, Tennessee, a small community in Ray County with a rich history. We're proud to host the uh, Cabela's Boat U.S. Collegiate Open here on Lake Chickamauga. My understanding it's a record crowd, about 144 boats signed up. I think uh, 137 boats are actually participating and a great crowd. We've had guys drive all the way from the Texas Panhandle. I met some guys from Wisconsin and, and uh, all points in between. This is uh, economic development for the county. Small businesses love it, the hotels, the restaurants, the gas stations, and, and uh, this is an angler-friendly community. Chickamauga is currently rated number six on Bassmaster's Top 100 Lakes in America. And uh, the past several years, we've been experiencing uh, off the chart uh, stringers of, of bass, as, as many as a five bass limit weighing 49 pounds recently this, this spring. TWRA tells us that the next state record is swimming here in Lake Chickamauga. The current state record is 14.6, um, and they tell us that the next state record is here. We know that uh, it's going to be broken. It's not a matter of if, it's just when. And uh, I, tell the, I told a lot of kids this morning uh, to keep your head up. The next cast may be the next state record, and, and we're looking forward to it uh, coming across the scales here. The potential, it may be here today. Day one's competition has come to a close, and now it's time to weigh in for the first day at the 2014 ACA Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. Let's head back to the Dayton Boat Docks for your Ram Trucks Big Bag of the Day. Defending champions from last year's ACA Collegiate Bass Fishing Open, Bethel University topped the leaderboard yet again on day one for 2014. Cody Ross and partner Dewey Swims, along with teammates Zach Parker and Matthew Roberts, worked together to produce a six fish limit totaling 29.69 pounds. Coming in second, just behind Bethel University, is Murray State University. Led by Cody Santel and Justin Berger with a 29.26 pound total bag. For third place, Virginia Tech University turned in a six fish limit of 25.83 pounds, which only took a one boat team of anglers to get it done. Andrew Jackson and Trey Stewartson. Expected to be a solid contender this week, Tennessee Tech University didn't disappoint. They're fishing multiple teams and finished today with fourth and fifth place respectively. Also, in both 6th and 7th places are the University of Tennessee Knoxville. Coming in at 8th place with 20.63 pounds was Winona State. With 20.53 pounds, the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point is at 9th place. And rounding out the top 10 is Southwestern Oklahoma State University with a total weight of 19.88 pounds. And that'll do it for our first day of tournament action on Lake Chickamauga. To find out more about the Association of Collegiate Anglers and the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, check out our website. We have everything you need to know, from registration information, tournament schedules, previous TV shows, and much more. Next week, we'll continue our coverage of the 2014 Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. It's the final day. With a tight race ahead, will Bethel University be able to repeat a win and defend last year's open title? We'll find out.